guys, it's your girl Keiko Lingus and just wanted to pop in real quick because I've got a little something in the office today. No big deal, you guys may have heard of it. It's a PlayStation 4 or PS4 as the cool kids call it. But no, I'm extremely excited to unbox this for you guys because quite frankly, I want to play with it. Anyways, enough talking, let's crack this bad boy open. So as I get this thing open, the first thing I notice is cardboard as opposed to your typical styrofoam padding. So kudos to you, Sony, for being a little more environmentally conscious. All right, other than that, you've got your standard instructional manuals, which require to read, so no thanks to that. And underneath here, we have some cables. We've got here our power cable. Then we have our micro USB cable that we can use to charge our controller. Mono headphones with mic for your ish talking. And an HDMI cable, a nice little addition that didn't come with the PS3 prior. Okay, and here I got the DualShock 4 controller. Smooth matte finish, definitely much nicer feel to it. Visually, the first noticeable difference right here on the front is the touchpad, similar to that of trackpads on a laptop. Not sure if the camera picks up the motion, but you can actually press down and click on it. Gameplay-wise, you can also imagine that it'll be used for swiping, pressing, and so forth. Surrounding the trackpad, you'll see start and select buttons have been now replaced with share and option buttons. So if you wanted to share your gameplay activity with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and so forth, you can do so with a simple click of that button. Now looking at the analog sticks, overall the motion of it feels just a little bit sturdier. But the biggest difference is the nice slip resistant rubberized coat that they put on it. It will definitely give you better control when you're playing. The left and right triggers in the back have also been slightly redesigned and have a much better feel to it. As you can see, they stick out a little bit more and feel much easier to access. And if you do decide to get yourself a PlayStation camera, then this changeable indicator light will tell the camera which player you are. And of course, you have a charging port here. And finally, a headphone jack and a speaker for audio. All right, now for the main event, the PS4 itself. All right, and junk. And all right, we don't need this anymore. And here we have it. Now the launch model I have here contains a 500 gigabyte hard drive, but just like before, it is fully upgradable and you can increase your capacity by replacing it with a larger storage drive. Unfortunately, you won't be able to increase your storage by connecting external drives to it via the USB ports. So design-wise, it definitely has a much sleeker, angular look to it, and it actually feels a little lighter than the PS3. As you can see, it has both a glossy and matte black finish to it. Up front, you can find the touch-sensitive power and eject buttons, and on this side, we've got two high-speed USB 3.0 ports, and right next to them is a slot-loading Blu-ray disk drive. Around back, you have an optical audio out, your HDMI, an Ethernet port, and an auxiliary port for external accessories such as the PlayStation camera. Spec-wise, the PlayStation 4 has 8GB of DDR RAM, 8-core CPU, and a Radon Next Engine GPU. Anyway, that's it for now. For more information on the Sony PlayStation 4, including updated bundle packs and availability, keep it locked to our site at gearaddicts.com. I'm Keiko Lingus, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. For even more videos from Gear Addicts, be sure to subscribe to us right here on our YouTube channel. And for more information on the product featured in this video, click on the link in the description below. I'll catch you guys next time.